Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today we discuss about chapter 8 floating bodies. Suppose think that you are walking the side of a swimming pool. The swimming pool consists of a swimming pool filled with water. And if you observe the water, you understand that some rubber material circular type tubes which are called rescue tubes are floating on the water and you get a doubt that how they are floating on the water. In the same water if you drop a coin, the coin is very small compared to the rubber tube but still the coin sinks into the water. Now take another case. Suppose you are walking on the side of a pond and if you see the pond on the water surface so many flowers are floating. And if you drop a stone into the water, obviously you know the common sense that stone sink into the water. Why stone is sinking in the water? Why not? Why can't the flower? If you are standing on the bank of a sea and you are observing a big size ship, which is very big in size, but the ship is not sinking, it is floating on the sea water and sailing on the water. How these things are possible? How some bodies are sinking on the water surface, some bodies are floating on the water surface. Repeat. How some bodies are sinking in the water and how some bodies are floating on the water surface. How could you say that as the body is a heavier body that is why it is sinking? The body is a lighter body that is why it is floating. In that case, the big ship is heavy body, is heavy weight, it should sink, but it is floating. Then what is the actually reason behind these examples? If you think deep in those, into these concepts, you get to know that there is a physical quantity in physics which actually varying the weight, weight and less weight. Or weighing bodies and lighter bodies and that physical quantity is density density so what is density density is a physical quantity in physics and it is defined as mass per unit volume mass per unit volume or you can say that it is a ratio of mass to the volume. For example, take a block like this. It is a wooden block, wooden block of rectangular shape whose length is 3 centimeters and this dimension is 1 centimeter. Now, the wooden block mass I have found which is 20 grams. Now the question is how did you find the mass of the wooden block? Yes, you are correct. We have so many instruments to measure the mass of the wooden block. We have weighing machine. We have spring balances also. Say using spring balance I have found the mass of the wooden block 20 grams. And when I know this length and breadth of the wooden block. I have to find the volume. To find the volume, what is the other dimension left here? Think. Yes, you are correct. You should have height also. So, suppose think that the height or you can say thickness which is 2 centimeters. So, now you have length, breadth, height. Now, to find the volume, volume V equal to the formula of all of the block is volume equals to length into breadth into height. Now the length is 3 centimeters, breadth 1 centimeters, height 2 centimeters. Now 3 1 jar 2, 3 1 jar 3, 3 to 6, so 6 centimeter cube is the volume. So mass is 20 grams, volume is 6 centimeter cube. Therefore the density D equals to mass by volume so mass is 20 grams 
and volume is 6 cm cube. Now if you simplify this, 6 1 are 6, 6 3 is 18, point 20, 6 3 is 18. So approximately it is 3.3 gram per centimeter cube. So the density of the wooden block is 3.3 gram per centimeter cube. Yeah, we found the density. But our question of study is whether the body sink into the water or the body floats on the surface of the water. How do you know? That you can know when you know the density of the water. And you know, density of water, density of water is a constant number and it is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now see this wooden block. Now this wooden block is dropped in that water. Now whether this wooden block sinks or floats. It's very simple now. See the density of the wooden block 3.3 .3 gram per centimeter cube. Density of the water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. As the density of the wooden block is more than density of water, obviously, if this is the water, this is the water, obviously the block sinks. It sinks. Because the block density is more than density of water. So we understand that when the density of the substance is lesser than density of water, then it floats. If the density of substance is more than density of water, then it sinks. Let me write here. When density of substance is less than density of water, then what happens? implies substance floats on the water surface. If density of substance greater than density of water, then what happens? In the previous example we have understand substance sinks. So this condition we understand. But you should know the density of each and every substance. Then only you can tell that whether it is sinking or floating. Now, how do you know the different values of densities? Yes, we will get to know how to find the density of different substances. Before that, I will tell you some, some of the values of densities of different substances. Okay, before going to tell you the density of different substances, let me tell you uh, what is the unit of density. We discussed that density equal to mass by volume, mass per unit volume or mass by volume. So if you take the CGS unit of density, mass is in grams, volume is in centimeter cube. So you can write gram per centimeter cube. If you ask SI unit or MKS unit, mass unit is kg by volume is meter cube. So kilogram per meter cube. So that is a CGS and SI units of densities. Now let me write the densities of some of the substances. Substances, their density in kilogram per meter cube. 